<clears throat> okay, so uh, here I have a compressor out of a older refrigerator. This was a little different one. Um, it had five lines coming out of it. Not sure why. Um, these two lines over here, oops, let's go over here a little bit. Um, I don't know what they're for. So I just bent the prongs over and plugged them. Nothing was coming out of them, okay? This line over here was already plugged off. So that might, that's the fill line, I'm assuming. So um, now I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if there if there's any fluid or anything in here. I was, it was given to me like this, so I'm really not sure. Nothing drained out of it. Maybe a little bit of oil flipped out, but that was about it. So um, this one here, the big one, is actually the vacuum and this is the air so if I plug it in here oops, you can hear it very quiet but you can tell and I just got to clean that off and put a some sort of fitting on here but you can you can hear that one is, is the one that's blowing so I'm assuming that's just an exhaust I'm probably gonna put maybe some sort of filter over top of it just in case anything does spit. I noticed my fingers a little wet after doing that. So I'm not sure what's in there or not. But anyway, um, and also I made sure, I just wired this up. Just when, you, if you do this, make sure this box is on the side. This is the, uh, I can't remember what they call it, but basically relay, startup relay or something like that. Um, so uh, I was told this will do about 25, negative 25, I think it's HGs. Oh, oh, it just died. Okay, so here is the start of my um, vacuum chamber. So there's my pump as I showed you before and I got the end cleaned up. Um, here's some fittings that I went through. I know it looks like a mess, but I just Heinz 57 a bunch of stuff together. This piece here is temporary just to plug it. This actually will go into my pot. Um, I'm going to drill and tap a hole in here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, but this piece here, I had to get a few, three pieces put together. Um, in order to fit on there. I couldn't find the fittings here. Um, I live in a small town, so we don't have a lot of decent fittings. A lot of stuff you gotta order online or be a contractor, so. Anyway, I'm hoping this holes will be good. It's quarter inch, but it's it's pretty sturdy. This is braided, so. Um, now, as far as the pod is concerned, I, I really wanna have a, a viewing in here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut this open. And I have a piece of plexiglass here. It's half inch thick, and that's gonna go on here. Um, so I'm gonna retain the seal on the pressure cooker, but this will cut a hole in here. Um, hopefully I keep it fairly flush. And then I'm gonna silicone the crap out of that to get that on there. And then well, I'm probably gonna have to drill in this here, or I'm gonna probably drill maybe off to the side here. And then that's where this will get mounted in so that this will be connected to the lid not to the plexiglass just so it be stronger um, and I and I, I have to get one more fitting I just put a piece of hose to hold this together but I need a, another little nipple in here that um, I, get, I didn't buy enough so but I'm just gonna do a test of it I'm gonna hook this up just to the pump um, just to see what kind of pressure that pump is pulling so okay um, I have it all together, I hope. Um, so this is fitting, and what I'm going to eventually do here is um, pull this end off here, put a quick release in here, um, just so that I can drop oil in there when I need to. That line runs over to here, and uh, so here I got uh, valves here and here. Um, so basically I can, obviously this is, this one, okay, this one will be, I'll leave it open while I'm vacuuming and then I can shut it to hold the vacuum, if that works, I don't know, that's what I see on the internet, and this one will be to release. Um, 
you know these are the most expensive parts these are 10 bucks a piece i think i got about 40 dollars in purchased in fittings what i could i probably could have did less if i could have found the proper fittings but um that plexiglass was i think 10 bucks off ebay or amazon uh the pressure cooker was free and this was free so <coughs> you know for say 50 bucks i got a pressure pot so um let's go plug it in and see if it'll actually what kind of vacuum i'm going to get out of it so um let's go over here and plug it in here oh so i guess i gotta close these off ah, come on. there we go so sucking right up there pretty good wow it's going up fast um I'm hoping to get into the mid 20s. 25 would be good. 24, 25. Um, so what about here? 23. Um, they say max of 29. I don't know where I'm what I'm getting at. I got the light going on here. Um, So it's, it's, it's going to hold about 24 and a half, which someone mentioned a thousand feet about sea level, you got to drop one to that inch or whatever. So um, I'm about 3,000 feet here, so three. So I should technically get to 26 or so to be perfect, but obviously it's not perfect. So, and I, you know, I, I don't think things are going to be leaking. So I'm pretty happy that that's going to stick. So, um, what I'm going to let it get up, I'll let it sit for a few minutes. I'll come back and then I'm actually going to shut the, this off here, this one, and then let the pump, let it go without the pump running to see if it holds that pressure. Okay. Um, still 25. I noticed one thing I tried, the pump's still running. If you can hear it or not it's very quiet um, but if I turn this off this drops almost instantly um, so I'm not sure if something in here is leaking because um, that should maintain I, I would assume it should maintain so I don't know if this is leaking or not in here um, I guess we'll see once I get it put on the pod. If not, I just leave this running. I mean, this is a refrigerator thing. I mean, if I have to run it for two or three hours to get my stuff out, that's fine. But uh, I'm curious if this is leaking and that's why I can't quite get to the um, beyond 25. As soon as I do that, it jumps. So I don't know. Um, you know, maybe because there's not enough and this is in the pot, there's not enough in here to hold that vacuum. I really don't know. Okay, um, we'll get this. I left this open and and I unplugged so the compressor clearly is not plugged in. And uh, but everything else is hooked up and it's still maintaining the pressure fairly well. It's dropping very slow, but the pump's not even plugged in, which I thought was kind of interesting. Because um, like I said, if I shut this, It drops, put it back here, and it raises even though this isn't plugged in. So if I plug this back in, um, let's go in here, and now the pump's back on, and it starts climbing. Very well. very slow but it I don't know if you can, again I don't know if you can hear this if it's on but anyway that's how quiet it is but it's slowly going up again so if I unplug it like that and it stays there well I thought that was kind of weird <laughs> 